Good day folks. NB Wildman here with another little video. This will be a quick review of the Stevens Model 300 Trappers Edition. This is a great, great idea for any trapper on the line that needs a good dispatch gun. Finally, a rimfire rifle or rimfire caliber that was designed with the trapper in mind. This little baby comes in fully loaded at uh, four and a half pounds and just a little under 37 inches. So uh, it fits easily into your trapping pack or basket. It's great for your backpack or on the four-wheeler, snowmobile, whatever you run your line on. Um, solid feeling little gun. Nice, short, real easy. Iron sights only um, out of the box. So we're just going to give her a, a try right out of the box here, brand new. And we are going to see how accurate it is. It comes with a disclaimer that clearly says it's not accurate over 25 yards. So we're going to walk ourselves right in here to about five yards here at the range. And we're going to give it a go at five and see how it performs right out of the box. So it's all freehand. Um, we'll maybe try a couple shots to make sure it's not me. And um, five yards. You're looking to dispatch a raccoon or a coyote caught in a snare, whatever it may be. Five yards. We are good. All right. So five yards are right on the money. We'll try one at the target just uh, just to be sure. Uh, I've used these targets before, but. Okay, so five yards right out of the box. We got one uh, one right here in the center of my uh, little spinny target. And we got one right here. All right, not bad for five yards right out of the box. Now, I know five yards isn't very much for all of you shooters out there, but keep in mind this is designed as a dispatch uh, wep rifle. It's not, um, it's not designed for long distance. We're going to back it up to 10 right out of the box and see where we are at 10. So, 10 yards. Ten yards on the spinny target. Okay, that's a good hit. Um, didn't spin it, but it wasn't uh, wasn't bad. That's easily going to dispatch something for you at uh, ten yards. Try one in the, one in the left hand target. See where we're at. Okay, a little bit to the left on that one. That's a real good chance that that was me freehand. We'll give another go just to be sure. There we go. And yes, I know uh, I should be trying these uh, off a bag and all rested and all that. But let's be realistic for you choppers out there. You're not going to get down on a bag or a picnic table to shoot uh, and dispatch. So, so here I am at 10 yards right here. This was probably me a little bit. 10 yards. And I hit the spinny target no problem. Now let's back it up to 15 see where we're at. So here we have 15 yards right out of the box. Now that's looking high to me. Um, we'll give her another go here just to see. We'll put one on the target and see what happens. Yeah, that's high. You can see that from here. So 15 yards, it shoots a little high. And again, some of that may be me, but um, pretty sure that it's high at 15. Okay, so right out of the box, we're, uh, we're dead on the 5, we're pretty good at 10, and 15, we're, we're shooting a little high. Still not too bad, I don't see, I can't really see the need to be out 15 yards to dispatch anyway. Uh, this is me at 15, right here or here, I can't recall which one. Okay, um, I got a little nick of it right there. At 15, it wiggled just a bit, not 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 a whole lot. Okay. So again, a dandy. Dandy little piece of equipment for any trapper. And it's an easy sight adjustment. I mean, yes, we're high at 15 yards, and if you felt the need to dispatch at 15 yards, you could easily just, uh, it's a classic iron sight adjustment, so it would just be a matter of moving the notch. Um, but again, right out of the box. Synthetic stock, rugged, um, perfect for the trapper. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video, and give us a like if, you, uh, if this helped you out. Subscribe to my channel for more great trapping and shooting videos to come. And this is NB Wildman, signing off.